All right, so we've uh, removed a bunch of blackberries uh, from the pasture here. Uh, we've mowed it to kind of get the blackberries down to as close as we can to the ground. Then we came out and uh, tilled it uh, after exposing the roots. I don't know if we ever talked about that. I actually ran a, a, a landscape rake through here. The only good thing I've ever figured out using that for is running it through here and exposing the root balls and drying them out over the summer and then rotting them during the winter. And then we came through with the tiller, uh, tilled everything up back here. Um, and then uh, went through with the uh, the grass spreader and, and spread grass seed. Now to press the seed into the ground, I'm going to use this thing. This is pretty cool. Look at that. This is a big uh, drum roller. Um, just attaches right here to something you want to pull it with. Um, this thing looks like it's 75 gallons. Eight pounds a gallon. Somebody do the math on that one. I don't know. So we're going to fill this thing with water. There's a little bung right here. First thing is we're going to see if we can pull that out and then uh, we're going to try to hook it to the back of the quad, one of those, or uh, to the back of the tractor. I'd kind of prefer to do the quad because I think the tractor will really push the soil more than this thing will, but we'll love the one we're with. So yeah, let's see if we can get this thing full of water. It's already pretty heavy. It has a little bit of water in it. We want to get it as heavy as we can to really compact the soil around the seeds. Let's see here. Yeah, that ain't gonna come open. All right, let's spray it. thing here. We're just going to try this bolt and see how it goes. This is heavy. Well, we moved it. Let's see if it'll uh, if it'll smash the fields for us. Went to the hardware store two times today. I didn't get anything I needed.
this thing's working just fine. Look at this. That'll be fine. Um, we're not squishing the, the seat all the way into earth, really. But it's smoothing out all the ruts I made, which was another concern. So we'll just keep yanking this thing around. Okay, well that's it you know we uh, we are uh, trying to compact this soil here to get a firmer seed bed and it is pretty firm um, I push my foot down and we don't really sink too much you know we'll find out in two weeks how this goes you know we were gonna do it the right way and get get a fertilizer but so this seed this is only four bags of seed so it's 200 200 pounds of seed uh, the seed ran about 600 bucks this year well oh, there's a soft spot holy smokes maybe we'll wait till it rains tonight and do this again um, a couple soft spots we'll keep running over this anyway yeah seed was like almost 600 bucks for 200 pounds and then uh, I wanted to fertilize the cost of fertilizer was going to be between six and eight hundred dollars um, and in all honesty, this ground is probably pretty good. This used to be a cow and horse pasture, and then it just sat. So it's a pretty deep topsoil. You know, we've pressed the seed into the seed bed to give it a firm place to, to sprout. It's going to rain tonight. It's going to rain tomorrow. It's, it's going to rain a whole bunch. So hopefully um, that gives this grass a chance. So we'll find out in about about two weeks if it's uh if it's all been worth it <laughs> um, but you know we're investing in a something we believe in so it's worth it so yeah here it is man this this roller if you can find one of these they're pretty cool it really did a good job of smoothing stuff out i've got some deeper ruts from the tractor that were kind of hard to roll out but whatever but yeah there she is pulled by the c-force cf moto 500 Holy smokes, that thing's earning its keep around here. Cool machine. Well, okay, let's uh, graph back to the uh, barn and see if supper's burning yet, huh?